Hello! Today we're talking about a great new Blackboard feature, inline grading. Inline grading allows you to view, comment, and grade student assignment files from within your internet browser. There is no longer any need to download student submissions to your personal computer. There are many different document types that students can upload that will work with inline grading. These include Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, Excel workbooks, and PDF files. I think that you'll like the convenience and simplicity of this new feature. Let's take a look at how to use inline grading. To begin, you'll need to enter into your Blackboard site. Because inline grading is what you're going to be using to grade student assignment submissions, you'll need to make sure that you have at least one assignment created within your site. You can see here that I have two assignments created. Now let's take a look at a student's submission to one of these assignments. To do that, you'll need to scroll down to the control panel and select Grade Center. You have two options for viewing student attempts, Needs Grading and Full Grade Center. If you know the specific assignment and student whose attempt you wish to grade, go ahead and click on Full Grade Center. Otherwise, go ahead and click on Needs Grading to view all assignment attempts for the course. You can see now on the Needs Grading page that we have an assignment attempt submitted. Go ahead and click on the username from the User Attempt column. This will load up inline grading. For now, I'm going to go ahead and hide the course menu so we can have a better view of the inline grading tool. Let's talk about the inline grading page. On the left hand side of the page, we have the student submission as well as some markup tools that we can use. On the right hand side of the page, we have the grading area where you will be entering in a grade for the student as well as any feedback you might have. For now, let's go ahead and talk about the left hand side of the page and the markup tools available to us. Let's take a look at the toolbar at the top of the document viewer. The first two buttons allow you to zoom out or zoom in on a submission. The comment button contains many options for marking up. We'll talk about that in a minute. The final button is the download button. At any point you can click this button to download the file and save it to your computer. Let's talk about the markup tools that are available to us for the comment button. Go ahead and click on the comment button and you can see that we have the markup toolbar available to us now. The first button of the markup toolbar is the comment button. This allows you three different choices of comments. The first comment option is a point comment. This inserts a comment at a specific point in the paper. The second comment option is the area comment. This allows you to select an entire area of a student paper and make a comment on it. Finally, you have the text comment option. This allows you to highlight specific text within the document and make a comment on that text. The second tool available from the markup toolbar is the draw tool. This allows you to draw directly on a student assignment attempt. The third tool available is the highlighter tool. This allows you to highlight text within the document. The fourth toolbar option is the text tool. This allows you to input text directly on the student's submission. The final tool is the strikeout tool. This allows you to strike out any text within the document as well as add a comment. Once you are done marking up the document, it's time to grade the assignment. You can enter in a grade in the attempt box. If you have any additional feedback for the user, you can go ahead and type it in the comment box below. If you want to provide more detailed feedback to the user, you can go ahead and click on the A icon button down below, which will launch the text editor. If you wish to attach a file to the grading feedback, you can go ahead and click on the attachment button down below. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click the Submit button. This will save the assignment and send your responses back to the student where they can then retrieve them. I hope you've enjoyed this video about inline grading, the great new feature in Blackboard that will simplify your grading process. Thanks for watching!